Right guys, hello and welcome back to another session with me, the Eastbourne Fisherman. Today I'm going to show you how to catch formback rays from the shore, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, and hopefully we catch one this evening. Over the last couple of sessions we've had really good success uh, in trying to target and capture formback rays. Saying that, we have had some failures as well, so it does go to show you that you know sometimes you can't always win them. But hopefully in this video I'm going to show you uh, all the preparation you need um, to help you catch a formback ray from the beach. Right, so first things first, we're going to sort out the bait. So, as you can see, I'm using a pennel setup here, which is there. So I've got the top hook is a octopus hook from Cox and Rule, and the bottom hook is an Akios Tamers. They're both size 30, and my bluey is wrapped uh, with bait elastic, uh, as shown right here, as you can see. So I cut the bluey into small sections like that and then all, all I do is fold the bluey over on itself like that so the flesh parts on the outside I'll whip that out with my bait elastic and then put one hook at the bottom and one hook at the top there. If you want to see more baiting up videos uh, check out the playlist uh, there's one baiting up with bluey to target rays um, that will show you a bit more um, a bit more you know definition and step-by-step -step instructions as we go through the video uh, when I come to baiting up again I'll show you how to do it anyway so don't forget to always use the head the head is an absolutely fantastic bait it's filled with so much blood and so much juice and a lot of people discount the heads definitely use them they're a great bait uh, rigs wise then so I'm using a panel rig um, on a pulley again um, if you want to make this rig it's on the playlist of the channel um, and then finish off I've got a Trident Roto bait clip there and then a red grip lead there. Another important thing to remember is when you're fishing for rays make sure you loosen the drag of your reel so the line is running freely. Rays are quite powerful fish and if you hook into a big one they can rip the rod off the rod rest causing you an expensive repair. So definitely set the drag loose and uh, no, don't damage your rod. Right so from my own personal experience of fishing for formback rays over the last couple of years, I found that um, I try and cast as far as I can possibly get the lead at the start of the session, um, and then when the tide comes up further, I slowly edge the cast back a little bit. Um, that's that's kind of the plan, and the ones that I've caught seem to be further out. Um, don't know why. I've never caught any rays close in. They always seem to be a little further out. So. That's just a little tip there. I mean, hopefully you guys will get something from this video um, and you'll be able to catch your own format rate. That's the goal and that's what I'd love. Um, if you just watch the video and then go out and catch, you to catch yourself one. So then my first rig is cast out. Already, as you can see, we're getting initial inquiry bites. Um, I presume this is, could probably be dogfish uh, to start the session off with as we're fishing low tide up. Uh, usually the rays come um, on the top of the tide and on the first two hours of the ebb. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at that and uh, hopefully it'll be our first fish of the evening. Right guys, so there we have it. One slightly small one back ray. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. Absolutely awesome. Let's get back in and hope you'll try and find his mum or dad. Definitely want a big one of these today, but there we go. Target fish caught, happy days. That one's caught right on the scissors, on the uh, octopus hook there, as you can see. Right, so we're gonna get this little fella back in. When you return them, don't just launch them into the sea. Show them a bit of respect. They're a really cool fish to catch. Definitely get yourself some Wellingtons. Just walk them out a little bit to where it's safe, and just slowly release them into the water there we go as you can see there you see him glide over the wave and out he goes right so my friend mark's fishing on the other side of the beach hello mark all right and he just caught a nice ray there absolutely awesome well done mark thank you happy days mate you're on two now aren't you yeah it's my second one yeah nice one mate yeah both about the same size awesome fish what's your tactics for tonight and what are you using to fish for these rays i'm using a pulley panel yep same with as me a, then bit of blue about the size of my thumb yep and awesome. A, a size two hook so. Well then mate, well done. Right, so when I'm fishing for rays, preparation is key. So I like to make sure I've got all my baits ready to go. 
so I'm just easy if I catch a fish I can just rebait really quickly and everything's ready all good to go fishing for rays is kind of a patience game as well don't be afraid to leave your bait in for a bit longer than you usually would when you're fishing worms So there we go, all my baits are ready. That's from one fish. So from one fish, I've got four baits there and the head there. So you can use all the fish apart from the tail. I usually cut the tail off. The tail's pretty useless. And if you leave the tail on when you cast, usually nine times out of 10, the tail acts like a little helicopter and it spins uh, the rig around, which is not great. So when I'm fishing I like to use one rig uh, which is cast out on the rod um, and then on the tripod I will have two spare rigs already baited up ready to go which is there and there and then like I said all my baits are there ready to go so when I reel in one rig I'll just switch over the bait and it's, it's there ready to go when you're fishing for rays you will find that they will come in flurries um, and it can be quite <laughs> it can be quite quick so always try and have a bait out there um, if you've got a fish on the beach reel your fish in um, put it down preferably in a bucket of water keep it you know keep it going keep it keep it alive and stuff um, and keep it you know hydrated um, and then cast your next rig out and then sort the fish out after that so you always want your bait in the water because nine times out of ten you'll uh, catch one ray and then you might catch another ray and then they'll swim off, a little, off for a while and then they'll come back so it can be quite fast and furious at um, different times of the tide right and so the most popular bait to use for fishing for rays is bluey bluey is an imported fish i believe it originates from japan and there we have it. So it's a pointed nose fish. Long like pencil shape. And the good thing about Bluey is that it absolutely oozes with scent. It's filled with a lot of blood, which is what the rays like. And that just seems to be the bait that everyone uses. Other other people, I mean some people use herring. And um, some people mix blue with squid and blue with mackerel and other bits of pieces. But for me, straight bluey, you can't go wrong with it. As you can see, the juice is running from the uh, chopping board there. That's why the rays love them, because they're full and packed full of juice and blood. And that's what they want, they want that nice scent. Right, so it's all quiet on my side at the moment. A uh, lad next to me just had a dogfish. A uh, lad opposite me has just had a dogfish. Um, I haven't had any dogfish touch wood so far yet during this session, but I think we may possibly get some at some point oh yeah as I said it we just started getting bites right away there we go it's a nice bite let's see if I can get that yeah, so as I just said it just sat down just grabbed the camera and just started to get a couple of bites would like a nice double figure ray. I mean, that's definitely on the cards. Okay, that looks like a dogfish bite to me. Maybe this might be our first dogfish of the evening. find out and see what we got. Right folks, just as expected then, we're coming near towards the top of the tide now, and over the top of the tide we usually get these little fellas. There we go, a dogfish taking on the blue bait. Let's get him back in, and hopefully try and catch ourselves another ray. Not a bad size to be fair, but not the fish we want.
Right, so I'm just going to show you what to do to prepare your bluey for bait. So we take the bluey out of the pack, take our knife, cut down into the So we're going to run our knife along the backbone, just cut in away. Fill it there. I say this bluey is way past the state, so I'm just going to cut it there and there. Cut the tail off. Now we're left with our sections there. So we're going to use this one as one bait because it's so past its. It's been defrosting for quite a while now. It's best to do it when it's just. You know, when you're taking it out of the freezer and it's about an hour or two defrosted, it's still a little bit frozen. That's probably the best time to bait up with it. Once you prepare your baits, what we're going to do is we're going to take our bait elastic and we're just going to wrap that round each section of our bluey to make small parcels here like so usually you get one, two, three, four, four baits in the head out of each fish so you get five baits out of each fish. I like to bait these up, I like to have the flesh on the outside if I possibly can. And there we have it. There's our baits, head there, head's a great bait, absolutely awesome, don't ever discount it. And then we got three smaller baits there. Uh, with these baits, because the bluey was um, a little bit more defrosted than I wanted it to be, I've left the bone in just to keep the bait straight and hold it up. But in an ideal world, you'd want to fill it the fillets off the bone. But there we go. There's one I prepared earlier. Keep the, the blood and guts and stuff on the tray. And then what I do when I throw, throw a whack on a hook, just rub it in all the blood and guts on there. And then keep all the scent. You get more scent on there and it's good. Right, so if you're watching the video for the first time and you haven't seen my previous beating up videos, I'm just going to show you quickly how to do it. So this is a panel setup. You've got the bottom hook there and then the top hook there. We're going to move the top hook out of the way for a minute. We're going to grab our bait, which is here. We're going to insert the hook underneath the bait elastic that we've already used to make the bait and wrap it together with. So the hook will sit there like that. The line you want to run up the bait. We're going to grab our bait elastic and wrap, wrap the bait elastic round the bait. Go around the hook point a couple of times. Make sure the bait elastic isn't over the hook like that. You want it to go around the hook keeping that hook nice and tight in and then we're going to wrap the bait elastic all the way around the bait making sure the line is straight up the bait do a couple of wraps up the top which is where your top hook is going to sit in and then pay attention to above and below the hook eye and wrap a lot up there and a lot underneath the hook eye as well and that will stop the hook from slipping snap that off and that bottom hook is nice and tight held in and then all we're going to do is grab the hook which is at the top our panel hook we're going to wrap it around once twice around the line and then you're going to nick that into the top of the bait like that 
and then underneath the bait elastic like that and then you pull the line and that will sit your bait like that nice and ready to go that's how to bait up the fleshy part I will show you how to do the head on the next cast right and so Ray's prefer it when the water's a little bit coloured up as you can see here a little bit dark it's not completely chocolate but it is darker than it has been over the last couple of weeks to say the least there we go it's a bit windy tonight as well don't be afraid to get out there in the wind and give it a go um, there we go so that's that's water clarity there then so you want it coloured and don't be afraid to go out in the rougher weather to target these fish right on, folks here we go another one bites the dust there we go they're coming in over the top of the high tide just like I said they would man I hope they go soon so we can get the raise right on guys so that's what we've been waiting for just had our first nice run there we go look at that not going to waste too much time I definitely want to figure out what this is it's running quite nice definitely looks like a decent raid right on guys what did I say we'll definitely get one I think it's going to be bigger than the one I had the other day there we go but your something's curled up a good and probably curled up there we go that was taken on the on the bluey head there so the bluey head is definitely a, a bait to consider for targeting these fish there we go let's get them weighed and measured and we'll get them back safely into the into the drink right guys so I can't seem to get over that magic 50 mark just had another one 50 there we go Let's get them weighed and get them back in. Right guys, so we're going to zero the scales back again. We're going to put the fish in the sling. So let's get zero the scales. Fish in the sling. We're going to raise the scales up. Right guys, it's coming out at £6.10, so it's bigger than the one I've had before, that's my new PB. Happy days, get in my son. Right guys, time for Mr Ray to go backy backy. There we go. Thank you very much, my new PB Ray. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Down into the calmer water. We're skating off like that. Up over the waves, he goes. Right, so seeing as that one was caught on the head, I'm guessing you guys are going to want to know how to bait up the head if you don't already know. So, well, there we go, head there, first hook there, straight in like that. Bait elastic. And start the wrapping. I like to wrap all the bits at the bottom up round near the hook. Like I say, I'm no expert guys, I just go out and catch, just go out and try and catch the fish, you know what I mean? I'm not claiming to be an expert at all. I just like fishing. But if I can help people and show people the way I do it and it catches you a fish, the job's a good one, isn't it? Oh man, I'm buzzing after that break. Absolutely awesome. New PB gets you. And one of my favourite baits ever, the bluey head. Good old bluey head. Alright, so that's all the bait elastic on there now. Snap that off. Hooks nice and tight in the bottom. And then all we're going to do is grab our penalled hook. Wrap it around once, twice. And then I'm going to go reverse side into the top mouth part of the bluey. Oh. I want to make sure I've got a good, strong part of the mouth. There we go, so that's going to hold nice and tight. Pull the line at the top, and there is your bluey head bait. Ready to be cast into oblivion, and hopefully it will catch you a fish. Right on guys, so we're about two hours down tide now. We've entered the last cast saloon. A bunk on a whole bluey head. Will it bring us a fish that isn't a dogfish? Fingers crossed. 
let's wait and see and hopefully we can bag another ray man i'm pretty happy with tonight's session to be fair so far but one more would be absolutely awesome even more awesome than it is already but i guess not much is happening on the fishing side we're just getting absolutely hammered by these little fellows all the way up over the the tide and back down now so yeah dogfish are cast at the minute uh, which is not great when you're trying to target rays but you know happy to see them <laughs> but I would like another ray. Let's get this fella back in and hopefully with the last couple of baits we got we can snap one another ray. Right folks, that's another session done and dusted. What a good session it was. Uh, ended up with two rays, one small one, two or three. I think it's two rays. I have to watch back the footage. Uh, one small one and one slightly larger one which is my new PB now of £6.10 so I'm pretty chuffed with that. Um, and then we just got bombarded by dogfish so it was absolutely a bit of a pain in the backside. In some sessions through the year <laughs> I'm pretty happy to see a dogfish but when you're trying to target rays and stuff yeah, they do become a bit of a pest at times. The, the uh, sun is just starting to break uh, over in the distance and it's starting to turn to daylight. I think it's about, about half four, nearly five in the morning now. Uh, we started at 11 at night. Um, I'm pretty pooped um, and I'm looking forward to some downtime and spending it with the family now. So thanks very much guys. If you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.